once the client is admitted to the FEP program, he has in his disposal a number of people to treat him. For medication, it is the physician and also coordinates the process. He does see a psychiatrist. He sees Dr. Dodd with Family Services. She's a great doctor. She's really funny and I think she's very nice and she helps me. The client has a case coordinator who connects him with different services and helps him in his day-to-day -day practical difficulties, even to get a driver license, for example. Caseworkers help me for, um, to live independently, because I really want to live on my own. Being here with me, he's not really that independent because I do everything for him. And when I don't do stuff for him, it just doesn't get done. So I think the only way he's going to be able to live independently is if he has to rely on himself to do stuff for himself. There is an education support staff that helps the client with his education because some of the clients are in, in high school or in college. Bryce really loves music. I like listening to pop, R&B, blues, rap. It makes me real calm. It makes me real calm, it makes me real happy too. He wants to go to college for music, so we're trying to get him into that kind of program. There is a team leader who coordinates all of us and schedules regular meetings of the team to talk about the clients. In addition to that, we try to help his community, his school, his family, to be extra support for him in this endeavor. And by being so intense program, he can call us and ask us any question he has any minute of every day. Family services, their doctors, their nurses, they actually care about their people. Bryce wants to talk to them, they'll talk to them. <laughs>